And we've given you all the Hillshire Farm cookbook. And we've made some recipes out of this, and we've even tried them beforehand. That's always a good point for you to know. So basically, it's like watching a pot boil and waiting for my water to boil. And I am doing the bow tie pasta on page 56, because I love pasta. I have a thing for pasta, apparently. So I'm watching my water try to boil, and it's not doing very well at all. It's almost there. Basically, that's for the pasta. So if you start that like 20 minutes ahead of time, you're good. I do have sun-dried tomatoes and to reconstitute those. And these are, I found these in the produce section. They are $2.99. They're not that expensive and it scores a 96. So just like a tomato, tomato scores a little higher, but 96, pretty good. And to reconstitute those, you basically just pour boiling water over it. And so they're reconstituting and it has been 20 minutes, so they are reconstituted. But if you start that early as well, you're good. So we're just watching our water boil. It's doing very well. It's getting closer. And it does ca call for bow tie pasta. Bow tie, all of our white pastas basically score a 57. That's their new bow score. They all score a 57 just because they're white pasta. So I did trade up to Rotini whole wheat pasta. I mean, it's not the shape of a bow tie, but it's still pasta and it's whole wheat and it scores a 91. So doing much better, right? 91, 57. Nouvelle is all about trading up. So even if you don't want to eat healthy, you can still go to the potato chip aisle, the cookie aisle, and you can still trade up higher numbers. Not that it's going to be nutritional, but it is going to be more nutritional than my favorite Oreo cookie, which scores a big fat four. So you can get a chocolate chip cookie, which scores a 17. Hey, look, I think my water's boiling. Real easy, watch this. So, whole wheat pasta, put it in the boiling water, boil it for two minutes. And while you're doing that, you're gonna start heating up two tablespoons of oil in a nonstick pan. Still waiting for my oil to heat up. I did use canola oil. As you can see in your book, what does your book call for? Olive oil, guess what I used? I used canola oil. I also traded up that way as well. Extra virgin olive oil scores an 11. My canola oil scores a 24. So also you want to use canola oil when you're cooking because if you heat it up too hot, you do lose the nutritional properties of the um, extra virgin olive oil if you heat it up too high. So just to prevent that, I use canola oil. Canola oil does have a lot more um, poly and monounsaturated fats than extra virgin olive oil does. It does still have omega-3 fatty acids in it, so you're still getting those properties. It's just a little more heat stable. And it is a trade-up. Hmm. And what is a good use of extra virgin olive oil? When you, I tell people when you use extra virgin olive oil, you really want to use it when you're flavoring things. So say I was doing this saute and I wanted the flavor of the extra virgin olive oil, what I would do is I would saute in water. I would just heat up water. And then I would actually put the extra virgin olive oil at the very end as a flavor when I take it off of the heat. Since or, I don't. Or use it in salads. Or you can use it in salad and salad dressings. And my favorite new salad. Who wants that one? No. Uh, my favorite new salad dressing is basically just balsamic vinegar and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And if you know me and my love of ranch, that is moving on up. <laughs> like I said, I had this leftover. I made this and had it leftover. I put ranch in it one night just to see how that would taste. It was wonderful. So this is the same Hillshire Farm turkey, turkey. Hillshire Farm sausage that Lori used and it does score a 13 over a seven. And I also do was not mine, like- Mine was Hers was a 20. I don't like onion a whole lot. So I did use a little less than half of a cup. It's all for flavor. If you like more onion, put more onion in there. Yes, we shared onions. And you basically just stir this until it turns brown or until your eye heats up, either one. The second thing it calls for is lima beans. So I do have, who likes lima beans? Really? Have you all actually eaten lima beans? I'm proud, it's like Brussels sprouts. I ask people who's, who has eaten Brussels sprouts and there's like, so baby lima beans, I actually like them. Um, this baby lima bean, it's called a Ford hook lima bean. It scores a 91, 93. It's in the 90s. 
This lima bean, which is our food club baby lima bean, only scores in the 50s. Good question, right at the exact perfect time. The difference is, is that this has a lot more sodium than this one does. This one only has five milligrams of sodium. This one has 25. So that's the difference. It is not. Nope. That's a what? Baby lima beans. Just has more naturally occurring sodium. So it does call, how does this sound push? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is the purpose of kitchen shears, which I have not. This is the purpose of Terry. What? <laughs> Did you just ask me if there are any health benefits of lima beans? Why yes, it is a green vegetable high in vitamins and minerals, none of which I could quote right now to you because I don't know off the top of my head lima beans. Good source of fiber. I'm sure there's some vitamin K in there. 25% of your vitamin C requirement. C, vitamin C. Vitamin A, 2%. Iron, 10%. So you do need two cups. And you just pour that, you throw it into the pasta that's now boiling. I'm, I'm a multitasker. That was good. <laughs> so you pour them in there frozen. And as you do that, the sausage will <laughs> splatter grease onto your fingers. Then you have a burn. You know I should have cooked that now. So I, I really do. If it's easy, I do it. And this is really easy to me, so I can do this. A lot of us dietitians don't like to cook, believe it or not. Not that you're not shocked now or anything. Okay, now that my sausage is turning a little brown, we'll go ahead and add the other ingredients. So you add your garlic. If you like garlic, add more garlic. Don't like garlic, don't add garlic. Some people I know actually get really excited if I don't go by the recipe, so I have to tell you that. It's just a guideline. I also did not put parsley in there, because who keeps parsley at home? Fresh parsley? Nobody, right? Parsley is about a dollar per uh, stalk or bunch, basically. Crushed red pepper flakes. And since we are going for health here, I'm not adding any salt to it. I did salt my water a little bit earlier, so I'm not gonna do that. Black pepper, we will add to it though. This is in case it's too dry with the lima bean in it. 